Well, hello, 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 fellow addicts. Welcome back to Addicts Live, your internet escape from the craziness in the world. I'm Melissa, your resident head addict, and I'm joined, as always, by my co-host to the north, Super Safi. Happy Saturday, everyone. Hope everyone's enjoying uh, February, the 10-year anniversary of TSTO. Yes, yes, and Valentine's Day is on Monday. Be prepared, so if you forgot, now here's your reminder. Uh, so yes, the Addicts Crew is back once again to bring you Simpsons News and Saturday Smiles. And as always, before we get into this week's show, it is time for your regular reminder to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So hit that red button so you don't miss any of the Addicts. And as always, for those not watching this directly on YouTube, I will put a link to the subscribe button in the show notes below us here. So let's get on with the show. Another day, another update in TSTO. This time, we are headed to the circus. Oh boy. Hopefully you watch the spoiler video to see what's happening and what's what's coming up and what's going to be uh, coming up in the next acts. Uh, if not, it's a good time to go check it out. I will put a link to it in whichever corner I appear in. So you'll see a little eye in either this corner or this corner. Click on the video and you'll be able to watch all the spoilers uh, for the next three acts of this event in addition to Act 1. But this event really just hit our games, so it's hard to really have a full opinion about it. But I wanted to have us come on and, and kind of give a quick initial reaction of it. Just take a little bit of time, initial thoughts, initial reactions on everything. So, Seth, what are your initial thoughts on Act 1? Act 1, from a, uh, just from the get-go, I love the splash screen. Snow's gone, so you can notice the change right off the bat from this event, uh, from the update that was hit yesterday. Uh, uh, Tuesday, <laughs> yeah, and uh, when, uh, whatever day it was. I went live on Wednesday, and uh, yeah, so right now I'm still working on the first prize, so it's really, really early in the event. Uh, but uh, right off the bat, from a non uh, freedom standpoint, I'm excited that I got the premium package as well as I got the four cash package. So I dropped 13.99 Canadian and picked up a 132 donuts and my good old friend Mr. McGregor with a leg for an arm and an arm for a leg. So many right shoes. What do I do with the left ones? Or sorry, <laughs> so many left shoes. What do I do with the right ones? Oh man. Yeah, I mean it's uh it's a fun little event to start off with. Um you know, I know there were some in initial issues out of the gate uh with current with a currency collecting bug, but it looks like EA really fixed that pretty quick, thankfully. And I thought they would. I had a feeling that they would they would fix that cuz that's a that should be an easy fix for them. Um, also, speaking of bugs, though, another bug was finally fixed with this update. The neighbor glitch was finally fixed. No more storing a gingerbread couch. Um, everybody, you should you should be able to go to your neighbor's house and be able to find something to tap on, regardless if they have a gingerbread house, the Simpsons or gingerbread couch with the Simpsons sitting on it, the Simpsons not sitting on it. It could be wherever it is in their town. Who knows? Uh, but it is fixed, and now there's tappables in that town. Um, my initial thoughts, though, not bad. Not bad. Uh, pretty standard event. I just kind of feel like we're we're in that that rut of things where it's just okay. <laughs> um, and again, I think Act One is probably the strongest prize track. I said that in the spoiler video. Um, it seems like it's going to be the strongest prize track out of all of them. And you'll have plenty of chances to build a circus area in Springfield with this, which I know um, a lot of people had complained about with other events that things were so disjointed and they didn't make sense. This everything makes sense together. Everything is cohesive. You will be able to build your own circus area, actually several circus areas if you want, because you've got lots of circuses coming. Um, you mentioned the splash screen. I really like the splash screen. I did notice that there are two different splash screens. Um, EA has done this a couple times. They tend to send us one that's smaller than the actual splash screen. <laughs> so it's always missing something. Um, in this case, it was missing Marge in the in the corner. So um, in the right-hand corner. So Marge is uh, is actually on the splash screen. But I am kind of annoyed, and I forgot to mention this in the spoiler video, that you've got Bart and Lisa as clowns on the splash screen, but they're not in the event. So... <laughs> It's kind of like misleading. It's frustrating for some people because uh, it's like it makes you think we're going to get Bart and Lisa as clowns. What the heck? And uh, and they're not there. So that kind of bothered me. It's not a real representation of the game. Um, let's kind of talk about some of the prizes, shall we? Um, see, the first prize track, the very first prize is... I have to bring it up. My apologies. I have something else up on my screen. First prize, Circus Caravan. 
um, which we have not unlocked yet. Seth, do you have any thoughts on the Circus Caravan? Again, I thought the first prize track was really good. I'm looking forward to getting the Circus Caravan. Um, like I mentioned in the spoiler video, I do plan on having like a circus area with all three, Burns, um, Cirque de Pire, um, and the Dingling Brothers. So um, yeah, I'm uh, excited to have the caravan part of that whole area. Yeah, and then you've got the circus sign and circus fences. So that'll really help you build a circus area. Um, the fences you'll be able to buy more of. Uh, the sign you can only get one of, so you really have to decide if you're going to have um, one circus area with all the circuses underneath it, or you're going to have uh, several areas but only one sign because you can only have one sign in Springfield, which seems kind of funny to me. Um, and then you've got the amazing smoking monkeys. Uh, I know you haven't unlocked it yet, but uh, but any thoughts on that one? I mean, uh, I thought that was a really cool uh, decoration, and I'm hoping that it has some animation to it. Uh, from the comments I'm seeing uh, from uh, some of our fellow addicts, uh, they're really uh, stoked about that price. So I'm hoping that uh, when I get to that stage eventually, <laughs> it will uh, be just as cool. And then we've got uh, Marguerite's Wagon and Marguerite, the last two prizes. Um, any thoughts on that? Full character on prize track. I mean, how can you complain? And the fact that Marguerite is not a skin or a strong man Homer is, <clears throat> which is a little annoying because for Burnsome's tax you need strongman Homer, and Homer's busy uh, uh, collecting for the first prize or the, for the uh, prize Act One prizes. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked that she's a standalone character, and uh, uh, I can't can no complaints about that whatsoever. A pretty strong prize track. Yeah, and it's interesting though. It's kind of this trend we've been seeing, and and someone mentioned this in the comments, and and I agree with it. It's a trend we've been seeing lately where we're getting prizes on the prize track that should be costumes, but they're characters instead. And I'm not upset about it because I always prefer to get a ca full character versus a costume because you can actually use the character. Like Homer has a million costumes. If you get another iteration of Homer uh, in a costume, you're never going to see him in it because he has a million costumes. But if you get it like another character of Homer, at least you'll see him walking around your Springfield. So you'll see that version. So I like a, like pixel Homer, you see pixel Homer walking around your Springfield if you had regular Homer, not to mention the fact that he's needed for every freaking event in this game. Um, so he's always just at Homer. He, he never has time to be anything else. Um, you know, you won't see him dressed up as anything else. So I, I do like that we're getting full characters and not costumes. But it is interesting because we really had uh, a couple of years of just like the characters on the prize track being different iterations of an existing character in Springfield. So like we've got Marguerite, who is a different version of March. Last Valentine's Day, we had um, Temperance, you know, and and um, Cyrus and thank for you. Ned and yeah, well, with Captain Mordecai for Homer. Yeah, no, absolutely. I was just thinking of that event in particular. Um, yeah, I've had no issues whatsoever having different versions of Homer uh, walking around my town. So. Uh, in this case, March. Um, yeah, I'm really happy, uh, and I, I like this trend. No, you won't hear a complaint from me about. I just, I kind of, well, I kind of feel like we need like characters on the prize track who are like characters, not just different iterations of existing characters. Like Mr. McGregor should have been on the prize track instead of. I mean, I understand why he's someone you have to pay pay donuts for or pay uh, cash for. Pay but, no, um, for. Yeah. I don't <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's kind of a pun there. Um, but, you know, I just feel like we need to see some original characters back on the prize track. I, I, I know this isn't true, but, like, I feel like the last original character we've had on the prize track is Mr. Bergstrom. And I know that's not true because I, I know there's yeah. been tons of characters on. I just that's that's what's popping into my brain. Yeah. Um, so it's just I don't know. I feel like it's not that they're being lazy. I just feel like they're taking these spin-off episodes like like a Treehouse of Horror episode, which is kind of what this is based on. Mm -hmm. And and which is always like a play on it's non canon. I feel like we need to kind of get back to canon in Springfield a little bit. No, um no. uh, Sid Marta, Gautama, like uh, all of those you could argue were pretty much the same. And uh, no, you're right. Uh, but the thing is they they've we have over five hundred characters in our yeah. show. I mean, a lot of the canon characters are gone. Um, I mean, I could go through the back bracket valley. There's still a few uh, left um, that are like really, really canon. But otherwise, a lot of them are like the one and done, like Mr. McGregor types. So, um, yeah. oh, I don't mind the, 
I guess by saying canon, it's no, I, what you, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, like, I don't mean, like, I just mean, like, not a lot of sp- yeah, like a spoof or, episode or a twist on something else. Some of those are sprinkled, yeah. But no, that being uh, a lot of those have been coming in uh, by a cash means. I mean, uh, Mr. McGreg, and then uh, during Thanksgiving, um, we got to get the tall guy finally <laughs> uh, with his little car. Uh, but that too was a cash uh, deal. I'm so so mad about I missed that. I, and I was gonna get it. I set an alarm to get it on the last day, and uh, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> It'll come back, I'm sure. But um, but yeah, I, I'm thrilled we're getting full characters on the prize track. Don't get me wrong. I'd rather see a Marguerite character on the prize track than the crusty oh, costume we're gonna get for Act Two. Yeah. Sorry, if that's a spoiler for anyone. But um, so I'd always rather see a character. A, a version of a character as a character instead of a costume but i don't know i just feel like we need to kind of ease off of these i think it's just in general we need to ease off of these um spoof events so to speak um and i'm sure there's a better term for it i just can't think of it at the moment but we need to kind of get away from all these different iterations of the same character and kind of go back to another storyline which we seem to get in the mini events i just feel like we need to have like a main event um, that's kind of based like that, where we can get some characters that are not different versions of Homer or different versions of Marge or different versions of Mr. Burns. Like, I just I just feel like we need to kind of take a step away from this for a little while. Um, but that does not mean I want EA to give us costumes. So <laughs> I'm good with the full characters. Um, you mentioned you picked up the premium combo. Any thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, uh, for me, it was like, uh, my number one choice getting burns them in his circus i mean i feel like that's the centerpiece of the circus area so um of the four if you were to purchase one that was the one i would recommend um i have no regrets right now um mr burns um is different like mr burns is a full character so that's nice that uh but he's also earns you uh prize currency um event track currency so he can be busy with his own uh, quest line or with um, the uh, event uh, act prize. Um, he does require a strongman Homer, and oh, that's a skin for Homer. And Homer's also busy earning act currency, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, so I haven't gone for through everything. His, <laughs> I haven't gone through his quest line yet, but uh, the first part of his quest line, uh, I, I did like the dialogue of it. So, um, but for me, that was yeah, no brainer to get that one. I mean. Yeah, he's got some fun, um, some fun tasks too, uh, and um, you'll you'll get into those once you kind of get do th- go through his quest line. But it, it's a fun character. I I highly recommend the pickup. I think this might be the best of the premium purchases with this event. Um, yeah, I think this probably is the best <laughs> of what's coming. So I highly recommend uh, the Burnsome burn some combo um and uh, a little bit about mr mcgreg you said you picked him up i have not purchased them yet i will i do intend to pick it up i just haven't made that purchase yet because it's not a rush for me if you played around with any of his tasks uh, i just started his quest line it's nice the, the uh the first part of the dialogue it includes dr marvin monroe um it's uh, it's looking very promising um, I don't regret the purchase. Uh, like I said, I mean, this game's got me so much joy. So if I could put it a little bit back in from time to time um, on a character that I want, uh, then yeah, and this is one that I definitely want. So um, I, I know a couple of people were requesting it. <laughs> it's funny, after we got our spoiler packet, I saw some comments. Uh, Aknad as well was mentioning that, you know, well, I wish they brought Mr. McGregor. And I was like, oh, I wish I could tell you, but I can't. <laughs> I can't tell you yet. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, you'll find out soon. Uh, but uh, uh, if you're someone who does want to put a little bit of money into the game and it's brought you a lot of pleasure, I feel like this is a character uh, that you should get. Uh, it's someone who does uh, who you could consider canon. I mean, he does come from Homer's Bypass episode, and uh, it's just funny. He's only in the show for like 10 seconds, but man, those 10 seconds were memorable. <laughs> And this is another one where, um, and I've said this a lot, but this is like another one where you get the insight into the writer's room because they have to create a storyline for this character that was only in the show for 10 seconds. So they have to give him quests. They have to give him a dialogue. They ha- it's, So like some of his tasks, I haven't, like I said, I haven't purchased them yet, but I see them in the um, in the game files, the images for them are hilarious. And it's it's not from the show. So it's just something like the writers have to kind of come up with in their mind. Okay, well, what can we make this guy do? And then they have to have the dialogue to follow suit. So it's, uh, it's interesting 
Um, I always like when we get these short little blip characters and then they have to expand on them because it really, it makes you feel like you're, um, you're getting a bonus episode of the show that you, you, you know, what you didn't see uh, mm. take place all those years ago. Yeah, um, talking, like I said, the complete opposite about Wilbur Nurple, who was in the, I don't know, <laughs> so probably 10 seconds, 30 seconds, but like, it's Mr. McGregor. <laughs> He's got a leg from Herman and Herman for like. <laughs> It's true. Uh-huh. It's true. And it's, I mean, it's memorable. Nobody remembers Wilbur. And he, it's, it's not even the guy's name. We had this whole conversation. I will yes. link that video in whichever corner <laughs> I appear in. But it, it, he's not even like, they they took that and made it something called, totally different. Definitely. So, um, but, uh, but yeah, and I agree with you. I think that if you enjoy the game, if you take pleasure in the game, if you have fun with it, you should always invest some money into it, give back to EA, whether that's 99 cents on a scratcher once a year or something like that, or you buy a character like this. Um, and you're not just buying the character, you are getting donuts too, which is nice. 132 donuts though, won't buy you the premium combo. So that's kind of funny, but, uh, but you know, you should, you should make that investment. Um, you know, we do it all the time. Um, a lot of times I do it because I have to, to for for the site. But uh, you know, something like this, I am excited to get this character. I have no issue spending um, nine ninety nine US on a full character uh, for Springfield. That that never bothers me. But when it's something that bothers me, I will say, and you guys have all seen me do that in the past, where it's Mister Plow's Plow for ten dollars rip off. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be my new uh, my new rant for this year, Seth. So just be prepared. I probably bring that one up a lot. Uh, <laughs> All right, so I think that's going to do it from us. Seth, do you have anything else you want to add? Uh, no, I'm looking forward to more of the act. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Uh, send in the clowns. <laughs> They're coming. Yeah, and like I said, this was just a quick video, quick uh, initial reactions on uh, on Act 1. It just hit on Wednesday, so really it's hard to make any decisions or, or judgments one way or another on it because it's, it's barely hit, and we haven't really had time to play um, you know, with any of the characters. But uh, stay tuned for some more fun Addicts Lives. We're going to have some bonus episodes up this month to celebrate 10 years of TSTO. So look forward to those. Um, Yeah, I can't believe this game is 10 years old. It's insane. I can't believe we're still talking about this game. Uh, So, uh, but that'll do it from us. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. And we will see you guys on the next show. Have a good one. Bye-bye.